You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? this. Well, that bodes ill. Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh. oh, oh, fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? 
When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! Well, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit, okay, you know what? You're right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously, I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things, like plural. Wait, really? <sighs> Run! Look, you could- oh. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone oh, or? Fuck, Chris. How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what do you? Hey! 
Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off! Oh, watch out! I said get off! Nick? Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. And like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Better? Thanks. Hey. I wonder where Caleb is. The place was so different, like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh... It was like a fish out of water, right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. It yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? 
Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? It's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left.
cut you. You know what? I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! Ah! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby? Ryan? Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that... Definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? So let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her, inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly, just keep your hands up, okay? Okay.
Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Did you look hard enough? These cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They, they can help you. I can help you. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ma'am, this is gonna get a little messy. Done to Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Hmm.
Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please. You just... Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is... Is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy! What? Let's go. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! You wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we... Drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! 
Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Son of a binky bucky. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? 
As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man, last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know, what if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, if we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation, we gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here, for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a 
A dog collar with the name Ian on it? Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, Yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... You know... Full moon. Yeah? What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced to cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? 
or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It's... Okay. Look. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close.
Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Oh, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Okay. 